Wow, this looks so hot. Welcome back to the garage. This weekend I'm working on my Virago XV250 bobber build. Now the bike was pretty much done last year and I did ride it for a good part of the season. However, I did notice that some of the custom parts that I designed had some tolerance issues, including my rear fender. The fender was just too close to the tire and anytime I'd hit a bump or there was just too much weight on the bike, it would rub constantly. The bike had little power and it actually melted some of the powder coat and the wiring harness from the rear taillight. The plan this weekend is to take the other half of the fender mock this up, powder coat it, and install it so we have a much more clean and safe tolerance look. And this fender actually has a little flat piece that I never, um, never noticed from before, so we're going to see if it looks any better. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to rewire that tail light, get this bike ready to go. All right guys, got the fender off. You can see the, how bad the rubbing was. It literally was just wearing the paint down right in the center. All right, so I'm afraid that if I put that flat piece in the back, it's gonna look kind of wonky. So I'm gonna do the standard curve end and go from there. Hopefully it'll look a lot better. I know where the holes have to be in the front, so I'm gonna mark those now. All right, a lot of looking at this just to me is I don't want to have to do this again. And I think it looks pretty good. The sissy bar did have to come up a little bit just so the bolt holes would line up. And I think it looks pretty straight and pretty even. So we'll go with this. I'll sandblast the fender and we'll get going on the powder coating. All right, one last thing I got to do before I sandblast is I got to curve the back of the fender like this one so it has a nice smooth edge and not a jagged point. Sam lasting time, woo! The fender is really close and ready for powder coat, but there's a few more quick steps we need to do before it's ready. We have to degrease it, so we're gonna use denatured alcohol. Now, acetone's a really good substitute as well. A lot of guys like to use it. I've just always liked denatured alcohol because there's no residue and no oils or anything left. I'm also gonna make sure I wear my latex uh, rubber gloves just to make sure no fingerprints or hand oils will get on this. So we'll wipe this down, throw it in the oven, outgas it for about a half an hour, and then we can get ready for powder coat. The parts are outgassing at 500 degrees. We're gonna let them go for around 30 minutes to even an hour. We wanna get all the oils and grease baked out of them as much as possible. In the meantime, I'll start prepping my powder coating kit and get the powder ready. We're starting with black. All right, so the fender is outgassed. I'm gonna let it cool down to room temperature, then I can start my powder coating. Probably give it a good half an hour just to cool down. All right, the part's down to room temperature. I'm gonna check it over, make sure there's no last minute per, uh, imperfections or anything I need to clean. Then I'm gonna hit it with black. I'll throw it in the oven at 400 degrees. We'll get that to around half cure time. Then we'll put our clear Rockstar Sparkle and get that nice glittery effect. are really hard to see, especially with the lighting and the black and everything. The part is completely covered. I checked all the insides, all the seams. I wanna make sure that the black is really strong on this and nice and thick. That way it has a good base for the Rockstar Sparkle to cure on top. I'm gonna throw it in the oven at 400 degrees. I'll, I'll constantly check the part temperature and I'm gonna do roughly a 60 to a 50 to 60% cure because I still need to put that top Rockstar Sparkle on. I go through a lot of rubber gloves because I like to make sure nothing gets cross contaminated. Keep stuff nice and clean. Rockstar Sparkle's next and I got my nice clean sodium chloride. Probably only gonna need about three spoonfuls of this. Betcha two's enough. But I have plenty. It's messy, but it ain't like painting a car. It's a lot easier. All right, it's been in there for a little over 20 minutes. I checked on it, temperature was good. Let's take it out so it doesn't cure all the way.
Looks great, looks good. The black came out great. It's got a really great finish, mirror finish on the outside. The inside looks really good as well. Good even coat. I'm gonna move ahead once it cools down and throw on the Rockstar Sparkle. All right, there it goes, full cure. I'm gonna check it, give it 12 minutes once it hits 400 degrees. So it'll probably be in there for at least a good 20 minutes. We'll just let it go. In the meantime, I'm cleaning up for some other projects. All right, cure time's up, let's take it out. Perfect, awesome, beautiful finish. Once again, it's really hard to show the glitter in the daylight, but I'll see what I can do here, see if we can check it out. So hopefully this is giving you at least some kind of an idea of how much intensity the sparkle is, just as I move it and rotate it. All right, the fender came out great. The finish looks awesome, almost as good, if not better than the original one. I'll let it get back down to room temperature and I'll install it on the bike tonight. I don't want to waste any time. I got other projects to do. It pivots. Oh yeah, that should be good. Of course I had to make this nice and tight. Come on, baby. Come on. All right. All right guys, so the fender came out great. I have an inch of clearance. I don't have to worry about rubbing anymore. And for my fat ass, it should ride a lot smoother. I still need to rewire my tail light, which I'm gonna use a proper five plug connector just so I can disconnect it a lot easier in the future. I do want to do my reveal video really soon. I've been talking to a lot of my buddies, and as soon as the weather breaks, you will see this bike hit the road. Otherwise, have a great night and support the troops.